In the telecom space, it's not that difficult to sit back and realize that data explosion is real. Data usage over the next like five years, it's expected to grow at a 53% year over year. And the question is, how are you going to employ an investment strategy around that kind of big picture theme? We understood that where we are best placed to deploy capital in that space is in a differentiated, non-traditional PE, non-traditional credit, non-traditional kind of real assets way. Our telecom portfolio actually started with buying a whole lot of television stations for their spectrum value. The value of a TV station is significantly lower versus that same unit of spectrum that the cell phone companies are willing to buy at multiples and multiples of the value. We recognize that arbitrage, and so the perspective about looking at an opportunity that didn't produce any cash flow, but still had significant upside, required the kind of creative and unconstrained thinking that I think the team in Tech Ops is really focused on. We thought the idea of actually buying up the ground leases under the cell towers was a really interesting way to play the growth in the demand for data, but in a very different way. We know the stability of the cash flows coming off a set of cellular towers, and so we met a management team that we quite liked, and we backed them with our capital to create a business. At its core, a great investment should have a very positive supply-demand dynamic within it. On the demand side, in Latin America, data usage is growing four times faster than here in the United States. On supply, um, the one single thing that stands out in Latin America, you've had multiple years where interest rates in that market are double digits. And as a result, there's fewer sources of competitive supply, which create an opportunity for investors like ourselves. We decided to acquire tower portfolios across the region. Today, we are the largest growing tower platform in Latin America. It was way cheaper and more cost effective for our capital to deploy in that market with the same type of tailwinds in that sector that you had in the U.S. And that tailwind of growth is creating more and more opportunities for us to deploy capital, both in terms of new capital opportunities as well as by existing assets. So our teams are incredibly focused on finding these opportunities in these markets and combine them in a way that generates more investable opportunities for Blackstone.